Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Hope everybody's doing good out there. I have on the table in front of us today something new from the folks at Artisan and the Mind of Ray Laconico. This is the Artisan Sirius, and it is an excellent knife. Uh, this one is in their double red coral micarta, uh, which is beautiful, uh, without doubt. It is a front flipper with a single thumb stud. Now they do make a flipper version of this as well. I saw that at California Custom Knife Show. Uh, this one, which is the front flipper and the single thumb stud. The only bummer about this is that it is not left hand swappable. This is an all righty knife. Now they make a version of this in G10 and their ARRPM9 steel. This one happens to be in S35VN. It is just a great carry and a great cutter. Uh, it has um, concealed steel liners, which I think you can see in there a little bit. It is a liner lock, and the liner lock is done really well. The cutout for the thumb stud gives you a great place to sort of get your thumb in there and do the close. The action is very good. Let's check the detent. Yeah. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being you can't open the knife, and 1 being it falls out when you do this, I would say this is a 5 or a 6, maybe a 7. It has good snap for sure. Uh, I'm a Laconico fan. I have a bunch of Ray Laconico knives. Um, one of my all-time favorite artisan knives is the Centauri here. This is another Laconico-designed front flipper. Uh, these knives are similar in, in length, but beyond that, they are very, very different. This is a great pocket knife. <laughs> uh, Ray's designs tend to be very straightforward, very clean, and very, very usable. And the Sirius here is no different. It has a very Laconico, like straight Monterey Bay knives look to it with the, uh, the groove here on both sides. It's got a milled titanium pocket clip. It's got a full tit a titanium backspacer, excuse me. And on there you can see it says our Laconico and Artisan Cutlery, which is really nice. There is a spot for a lanyard if you do such a thing. And the clip is screwed in with this screw through the back so it's very clean. I like that quite a bit. Uh, Ray likes this sort of neutral handle and that means that his knives of all varying shapes and sizes tend to be good for any size hand. Now the series here is not a big knife. I showed it to you against the uh, Centauri. I'll do it again. Uh, you can see that the Centauri is a little bigger, right? It's got a little more shape to it, but uh, similar in, you know, it's got the groove. It's similar in that it's kind of a neutral handle shape. That means that women carry knives, my lovely wife, can carry and use the Sirius here as well as I can, which is awesome. It's a nice, thin blade. Now, I'm a big knife guy. I like big, chunky, you know, sort of meaty knives. You know, I, I really like this feel in hand, but if you're gonna carry something that you want it to be a good slicer, starting off with a thin piece of metal means that you get a really nice edge, even on sort of a saber grind like this one, right? So it's on a full flat, although they have given you a beautiful shape across the top as well, right? Uh, this has a very nice edge to it. It is a very shiny blade, which means it shows a lot of fingerprints. I would have liked it if it was you know, stonewashed or something, but uh, nobody asked me. The inset steel liners are milled out quite a bit, so it's a very light knife, which is enjoyable when it's in the pocket. The carry profile on this thing is deep, but not, you know, absurdly so. As you can see, there's a little bit of knife sticking out, but not much. It is running on bearings, and the action is, well, just very good. Now, you can front flip it really easily. I actually prefer to deploy this with the thumb stud because of the snap, but either way works just fine. Uh, there is a little bit of jimping here to catch your thumb for the front flip, and a little bit of jimping here, which, well, it's there. You can feel it, but honestly, it's, it's not really in a place that means anything to my thumb. It is a very, very pokey shaped blade. So if you needed to give somebody a little prodding, this would do just fine. I think 
it's a nice knife. I really do. And I, I was really happy to see it. Now, I, I kind of wanted the full tie version. Um, but as I said, I've been leaning into cut knives with a little bit of color, and I do like this deep red. Um, I may get the full tie down the road. One never knows. So let's uh, we're gonna do the specs one more time. Um, so this is a three and a quarter inches of uh, three and a quarter of cutting on three and a half inches of S thirty five VN. The grip area is because you can come all the way to the front here. One, two, three, four, and just about four and a half inches. The overall knife from end to end is eight inches exactly, which is a really nice carry size. The closed profile on this thing is where the magic, I mean, look at that, it's less than an inch or just at an inch. When this thing is in the pocket, there is nothing to interfere if you wanted to share the pocket with something else, I don't know, like a flashlight or your phone, nothing would get in the way. It's a very clean design. Right, a couple of screws at the back, one of which is used for the pocket clip, right? So there's not extraneous or extra screws. The blade itself is very nice and clean. It's got the little artisan logo on one side. It says China on the other, which is where these come from. It's got the serial number and the blade steel, but they're all done very, very small and not obtrusive. Let's do some size comparisons. Now we've done it against the Centauri. Uh, what else can we do? Here it is against the Delica. And as you can see, the uh, Sirius here is a little bit bigger than the Delica, but not much. Delica is a very nicely sized knife for a light carry. Here it is against the uh, Spyderco PM2. And as you can see, let me line it up there. All right, that's not. PM2 is not much bigger, although it is a bigger knife, and you actually get more cutting on the Sirius than you do on the PM2, um, which is saying something. I mean, the PM2 gives up a lot for that choil. Here it is against another Spyderco. This is the Indela, which is a fairly long knife, and you can see that the Sirius is considerably shorter than that. And finally, our old friend, the Bug Out which is another good small knife comparison. In short, or in long, however you want to say it, the Sirius here is a right-sized knife. They've done a very good job. And I'm really impressed, as always, with the quality of workmanship that you get from Artisan. You know, considering they're not really a very big company, they produce a ton of knives. They've got some great designers and I just love the way they put their stuff together. This is no exception. Well, should we weigh it? Yeah, okay, let's weigh it. Because I think it's going to be very, very lightweight. I don't think it's going to be bug out light, but very little is. Move our rule number nine coin out of the way. I don't know, that's pretty light. Let's see. Come on now. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. You know, I'm gonna have, I've said this in a million videos and I'm just not doing it because I don't have unlimited funds, but I'm gonna have to replace the scale at some point. So 2.9 ounces. That is just a little bit heavier than the Delica and considering that it's got a full tie Backspacer and steel liner, that's that's not bad. We know that the bug out is 1.9 ounces. So 2.9 ounces is pretty good for an 8-inch knife. I said that that slice of S35VN was pretty thin. Let's find out. Back here at the thickest point, we are at 2.6 millimeter blade stock, which is uh, 0.103 tenths of an inch, right? I mean, that is a thin blade. If it had been a high flat grind, it probably would have been a slightly better slicer for, uh, for how thin that is. But in truth, it's a marvelous cutting tool. 
Again, these are about one hundred and twenty nine dollars, hundred twenty, hundred twenty nine dollars. And uh, I got to tell you, if you were looking for a lightweight, easy to carry, great design from a great designer from a company that makes good knives, I would go so far as to say great knives. The new Artisan Sirius is absolutely a direction you should lean into. It's a great way to get into Laconico design, um, you know, without spending, you know, without breaking the bank. Uh, he puts all of his energy into these, the same as he does into the Monterey Bay Knives designs. Um, and of course, Ray is just a super nice guy. So there we are. This is the uh, Artisan Sirius, a Laconico design. It is an excellent knife. You can get it in ARRPM9, their powdered budget steel, or an S35VN. Um, either way will serve you. It is comfortable in the hand, comfortable in the pocket, good action, and a very attractive design. I think it's a win all the way around. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.